know that next year will be For Manchester Frankie to Young, for Manchester United, for most of the summer window, Manchester United have been in hot approaches of Frankie Young, but the Dutch midfielder refused to negotiate with the club and is keen on remaining at Barcelona this summer. At the moment, it seems like Manchester United have not given up on the midfielder as new head coach Eric Ten Hag is determined to go sign him. Additionally, the Red Devils are short on quality and numbers in midfield, the magnetic foul Boba and one matter left the club this summer for free. This leaves only Fred Downey Van de Beek and Scott McTominay as for team centre midfield. Manchester United have completed the designing of Christian Harrison, which will boost their midfield. However, they still lack an intelligent player to add their bulls a play. The 25 year old the young Axel in that role for Ten Hag's Ajax in their impressive 2019 Champions League. Seven, he still moved to Barcelona that summer for 86 million euros. Why Ten Hag won him a straight forward? He's familiar with Ten Hag's style, which mean he require a little integration into the system, and his quality midfielder that can beat the press. With the Dutchman remaining at Neyman again joining Manchester United, the club must find an alternative as neither Fred nor McTominay is active in that road. Adele will be looking for a player who excellent on the ball and has good ball progression. He must be comfortable under pressure and excellent at carrying the ball and recycling position. Here are four alternatives to Frankie Dion for Manchester United. 4. Marcelo Brozovic Not the name fans would have been expecting, but Brozovic has been brilliant for Inter Milan over the past few seasons. His performance may have gone under the radar, but the Croatian international has crucial to his team's a title run last season. His 6.68 Progressive passes for 90 put him in the 97th percentile. This shows how good he is at ball progression. At 29, Brozovic is an experienced player and can realistically over the club six years. Also, they wouldn't have to break the bank to sign the midfielders. In the club, somehow, officer for him has been more than. A decent signing. A three Leandro Vardes. In a team surrounded by stars, Leandro Vardes' performance have gone unnoticed. The Argentine has been instrumental for PSG in the past few seasons and he fits a different profile of player like Frankie. He's a 5.46 progressive passes for 90, put him in the 85 Percentage and his 5.5 progressive carries per 90 put him in the 79th percentile. Defensively, he has a no clout, managing 2.58 tackle for 90. The Argent is also able to be with PSG keen to rebuild their squad this summer. If Paris ends up being the alternative, he'll be fantastic choice for Manchester United. A two year tells man, the Belgian is in the final year of his contract and is again on leaving Leicester City this summer. He has Premier League experience, so has skipped the passage of adapting to the league. The Belgian has been Leicester best midfielder over the past few seasons and will be a massive buy for Manchester United if they sign him. A Chelsea recorded a 5.8 progressive passive for 90 in a lesser side. The circle for most of last season is defensive play can use a lot of work, but the Bergen is still a dozen. Affordable alternative the young. One Robin Neves could be a solid option for Manchester United. 
never signed from Porto in 2017, like Yori Neves has wealth of Premier League experience and will fit in preferably at United. The Portuguese midfielder recorded 4.94 progressive passes for 90 last season in the Wolverhampton Wonders, a team that not position oriented. Neves will comment a reasonable high fee and will take time to adjust to the position style of Ten Hag. But it the long run, Neves could become important to the squad. Then United will have a quality midfielder as well as a sellable asset.